Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at Miguel's Boxing and Fitness Gym today. Uh, in Brixton, with me, I've got the man, the one, the only, Mr. Isaac Chamberlain. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm great, thank you. A um, little bit of information to start this off. I didn't know that you was in Rise of the Foot Soldier. Yeah, I was in, uh, yeah, I was with, in Rise of the Foot Soldier with my friend Big Nasty. <laughs> like, yeah, it was, that was, uh, I think, my second or third TV appearance. Yeah. First was, was in the was bill. That, was that you, yeah? Yeah, I was I, an actor, mate. <laughs> hey. Something I might go into. <laughs> I might go into the next creed, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'd, 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 I think I'd be good, you know. I'd be a good actor. That'd be sick. But I just look too much like the fella from Harry Potter, you know, the ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, shit, Ronald Weasley. Yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> mate? <laughs> Fuck, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> down here today for your open workouts. Obviously, you're fighting in uh, eight days. Seven days. Seven. Yeah, Friday. Friday, yeah. Seven days. I'm, I'm wrong. I'm fighting a week. How are you feeling? I feel sharp, ready, relaxed, you know. I feel uh, that I've done all the work that I need. You know, I dedicated myself to my full potential, you know, and uh, I did what I had to do. So, you know, in, in training camp, you know, I grafted, simple as that, I grafted hard. And uh, I'm about to get, reap the rewards on, Saturday, on Friday. Um, last time I spoke to you with uh, long lost father, Johnny, Johnny Nelson. <laughs> um, spoke about Hay versus Bellew, now that fight has concluded and we've seen what has happened what did you make of it all yeah basically what i said like if, if belly can take it into the trenches then we have a problem you know then he can he has a chance of winning and he kind of did even though people say it was an injury and all of that it was kind of like murphy's law anything can happen it will happen and that happened so yeah epic win for for tony belly you know and he, he, de he deserves it but obviously it's a bit of a Personal point to you, because in your last fight you got an injury, which most people, some people, would have pulled out from. Um, but you went full Danny Williams and carried on and, and won and won, won the fight. Um, yeah, yeah. Was you watching it thinking, oh look, look at him, look one leg, look, no, I could do I, it. I was, I was thinking that because obviously Achilles injuries are very excruciating pain, like, and uh, you know, imagine 17 stone on that Achilles injury bouncing. That's that's a lot of pain, you know, like footballers get that injury and they're out for a whole season. So imagine boxing, that, that'll take like six months to repair, six months for him to get back fighting fit, so that's like a year out already, you know. And, uh, boy, that's, boy, I don't know if how he can come back from this one, because it's a serious injury. You yeah, could try. Um, how do you think of your shoulder? I think I spoke to your physio in there. And he said you're, you're looking good, but how are you feeling in yourself? Yeah, I feel good. I feel I'm, um, there's a lot of confidence put back into it. When I first started sparring again, I was a bit like weary because I was thinking about the uh, flashbacks of the fight yeah. and how it made me feel, like the pain. But uh, now it, I'm, I've got a lot, of, a lot more confident in it now. I'm throwing it very, very well. I'm taking all the joint supplements and everything, you know. I've done everything in my power to make it right. Obviously, uh, since proving yourself in shine, you've got a, got a pair of bollocks, as they say. Um, You've come, into a, you've come into a lot of good things. Got a new car the other day. Yeah, well, um, my sponsor Paul Jackson from Carter and Haynes, you know, uh, he sorted me out with a nice, nice car, you know, and I uh, really appreciate him helping me in my career to do that. You know, like, it, it really means a lot. These, these, these things, they make training a lot more easier, you know, because training sometimes is, is like hell, but they make it a lot more easier knowing that they're backing you and they have the, your full support. When you was, uh, as you told me, the, uh, Point your headed drug dealer in front of the foot soldier. Did you ever imagine that you would be, be being given free cars and being no. given endorsements and being a top level boxer? Not really, you know. I didn't think that, but I always had the, the vision to be the best Isaac I can be because I believe that, you know, if I really dedicate myself to my craft and I really become very disciplined, I don't think, you know, it'll be very hard for, for a fighter to beat me, you know, because I would just have that drive, that determination along with that, the, the mental the sharpness and the skills to go with it, you know. So it's all about how to perfectly execute a game plan in that ring. And it's the little, the little things that matter the most. And I'm trying to make all the little things, like I'm trying to count it all, you know, so I'm not missing, no stone is unturned. That's exactly what you need, but obviously it's great that the shoulder's filled up. You've got a nice new car to drive to the venue and the weighing in, so everything's going well for you. You've got a nice few tracksuits and t-shirts to wear from Boxshaw. Boxshaw, Boxshaw the best man. <laughs> Big up Boxshaw. <laughs> um, well, listen, uh, 
you're the main man today, so you've got to get back in there, because there's people actually coming to look for you now, so we better crack on. But um, Isaac, thanks for the TV, I'll catch up with you soon, best of luck next